Hey guys, welcome back to Kumasawa Reviews. I'm TJ, and what we're taking a look at is Iron Factories IFEX26 Racing Bros. Of course, these are Sideswipe, Sunstreaker, for the sake of, I guess, whatever copyright infringement. They're called Blaze Dash and Bolt Runner. So, taking a look at them, they are approximately three and a half inches tall. So slightly shorter than some of their other counterparts like City Commander, their Ultra Magnus, etc, etc. But I'll say straight out before we even get started, these are second to only the tactical, are they the tactical staff or tactical team? Whatever the Prowl Brothers were as being my favorite Iron Factory releases to date. So honestly, before even watching this review, just go to Chosen Prime, click buy, enjoy because these things are awesome. But anyways, let's get started. And here we have again Blaze Dash, their homage to Sideswipe. Really slick detail in it. Definitely check out the Rin review and gallery on Kumasao.com. These things photographed so well that honestly I damn near couldn't stop taking pictures of them. It's like 30 pictures. It it was fun and they look good. There's something about this finish that you can even see it here. It really makes the shadows and the highlights and stuff like that just pop. It's really cool. It almost looks filtered when it's not at all. But anyway, checking out the posability on this guy. Ball jointed heads and you can see a lot of upward and downward. It's really good and of course that full 360. And the heads on these ones are nice because they're accessible with your fingers. Some of the Iron Factory releases have not been, especially when you have to transform them, getting in all those nooks and crannies, it sucks. But he does have an actual bicep swivel, not just like at the elbow or anything. Now the elbow, single jointed, but goes well past 90 degrees. The wrist, unfortunately no articulation, the only piece I don't like about this guy. Um, he does have minor ab swivel just because of the transformation it's not really legit but it's there waist swivel and it is a full 360 and these are nice tight joints they're not scary creaky anything like that thigh swivel good knee bend past 90 degrees and ankle tilt like a mother so the feet go down a little bit but nothing really crazy now we'll actually check check out a couple of his accessories at once. Now, he does come with this jetpack, and this also does have a peg there to go on to Bolt Runner as well. But you can see on the jetpack, these pieces here, the thrusters, they're adjustable, they're on ball joints, so that's pretty cool. He comes with his gun, and he also comes with a shoulder cannon too, but what's nice is, depending on what type or what side you just prefer or are taking pictures from, it comes with one for each side. So it just pegs into the... Shoulder there, and get him into some kind of pose. Alright, so there's that. He also comes with his polders. Well, don't really need those off. Now, it doesn't do like any of the MPs or anything like that. Just gotta remember which goes on which hand. So, yep, that's on the inside. Doesn't do like the MPs where they have like the hands that go flip in and out and then anything repacks they just go over like so and they kind of give little wrist extensions there to make it look like they're coming from the forearm all right and again there's blaze dash all right, and this is Bolt Runner. Of course, they're homage to Sunstreaker. And what's really cool is these aren't clones or retools or anything like that at all. These are two completely separate molds. So definitely watch the transformation for both. 
and this is just impressive i'm not gonna lie on both of these i really like the way they look i love their transformations these figures are just effing slick and the detailing on the faces and stuff like that too is just out of control so posability he has a little bit less upward good downward but still 360 with the head ball jointed full shoulder swivel and I did forget to say like these guys the shoulders can't go up and down ball jointed same shoulder articulation past 90 degrees again now he actually has the wrist swivel which is cool no ab crunch waist swivel thigh swivel and these have good front and back swing both of them so he can kinda cheat he can go well past 90 degrees there but even when his knee is where it's supposed to be you still have about 90 degrees so a little bit over awesome ankle tilt heel support he comes of course with his blaster and instead of like the polders or whatever he comes with two blasters that come off like hand extensions for the sake of everything I'll only use one kind of two birds with one stone deal here and see if we can do a knee pose and these are fun lots of fun to play with if you guys watched my last review that uh, Giga Armor Mega Man the thing was just a P-I-T-A so something like this going from that it's awesome I'm not really having problems or anything I'm just kinda being anal about it but there's that and another thing that he does come with is a I don't know really how to describe it but crazy face if you want to call it that this is the first time I've tried it so I don't know if you have to unscrew the head or what yep I think you may have to unscrew it so I'll be right back with the screwdriver all right so I'm just unscrewing that guy This one seemed to pop on pretty easy. So I don't know if you can take it off. That one just was not coming off with the, with popping it off the ball joint. All right, trying to zoom it in as best as possible, but there you go. It kinda, if you can't really see the details, it has like that open jack-o'-lantern style mouth. And it's from when he lost his mind being kind of mentally bonded to Hunter with the whole Headmaster saga and stuff like that. It's an IDW thing. Google it. Sunstreaker, Headmaster, crazy. There you go. But let's get these guys transformed.
Alright, and trying to give you a nice roundabout of each. These all modes are slick as shit. So here's Sideswipe. Blaze Dash. And notice even though you see it looks like that's touching the ground, it's actually not. It still has rolling wheels and everything like that, even on this uneven surface with this turnstile. All right, here's Bolt Runner. Get that closed up, my bad. And just slick. I like these quite a bit. Alright, and a top view of each here. And again, rolling wheels on each of them. And just genuinely clean. Get that cleaned up there. Speaking of it. Now, like the jetpack. You can go ahead and attach it, but it looks goofier than all get out. On Blaze Dash in particular. It attaches to the top there. I'm not going to spend too much time trying to get that together. But there's that. Obviously, not the best looking thing in the world. And get that peg out. Here it is on Bolt Runner. Better. Now, only one of them has that 5mm peg, and of course, that's Bolt Runner here. So, if you want to go ahead and attach his blaster or any of the Iron Factory weapons and stuff like that, you can. And there they are. And before I forget, it also needs to be stated that with Blaze Dash's weapon, you can take that peg, just bring it up, and that goes right there. Glad I remembered that. But there you are. That is Iron Factory. They're IFEX26 Racing Brothers, Blaze Dash, Bolt Runner, Side Swipe, Sun Streaker. These pieces are effing awesome. Buy them. Buy them ASAP because. I can't recommend them enough, to be honest with you. But anyway, this has been another Kumasau review. Check out the full written review, as well as my gallery on kumasau.com. Link will be in the description, as well as this info button right here. Link to buy this at the Chosen Prime will be in the description as well. Thank you guys very much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments. See you next review. And before I go, I just noticed that you could take both of his shoulder cannons on Blaze Dash and actually peg those into the top two because it has two square pegs at the top there and kind of have a double blaster so that's neat all right for real this time see you guys next review thanks for watching